Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I just got the Ledger Nano X today and I wanted to make a quick video on how to get it set up. So as you can see here, I have it plugged into my um, computer via the included USB port. This is a USB-C cable, not the normal micro USB. So we plug it over here. Now, it even if I unplug it, it'll still stay on because there is a built-in battery in here as this device has Bluetooth features so it can um, interface with the Ledger Live app. So first things first, let's see, we, we see it powered on here and there's a message here saying to download Ledger Live at ledger.com forward slash start. I am here at the webpage, but you can see it forwards it to the shop at ledger.com. So let's click on download. I'm running Windows, so this is probably gonna be the same for Mac as well, but um, this, is, this video is mainly for Windows. So let's wait for it to download. There it is, it's done downloading. It's only 51 megabytes. Double click it to run. If prompted, um, just click yes. And then over here, click install. So it is gonna install. Wait a few seconds. And then you can see it says run ledger live. So click finish. Okay, so you can see here is Ledger Live. I'm gonna click get started. I'm gonna click initialize as new device, and it's gonna ask you what you got. For me, it's the Ledger Nano X. Select that, click continue. So you're gonna see over here, I'm gonna go to the Ledger. So I'm gonna press right. So there's two buttons this is left. And this is the right button, so I'm going to press the right button. Again, and press both to validate. Click next. Hold both buttons anytime to access control center to power off and more. And it's just basically um, giving some info. So I'm going to click set up as new device. So hitting both buttons, choose a pin code of four to eight digits. So I'm gonna tap on both buttons again and select the pin. I'm just gonna, I'm, for, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna do a simple one. So this one, once you get the number you want, hit both buttons, hit both buttons, this is just going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to do it one more time to confirm. One. Now you should put a more secure pin, but this is only for demonstration. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then it's going to give a recovery phrase. So hit both buttons. And what you want to do is write it down. Don't type it on anything, just write it down. So, um, well, I'm going to type on it um, and mainly because this is basically for um, demonstration purposes. So there will be no Bitcoin on this uh, passphrase. So next. So let's write the words. Let's see. It says site or slight. Sorry. And I'll probably fast forward. Okay, so I got all 24 words typed out. Again, 
you're not supposed to type it out on a computer should be handwritten I am only doing this for uh, demonstration purposes there will be no Bitcoin on this wallet when I'm done with it I'm gonna reset this wallet and get a new um, seed phrase okay press left to verify your 24 words test press both buttons to continue I'm just gonna press both buttons but if you want to verify them you can by pr pressing left and going through them again but I'm gonna continue confirm your recovery phrase okay press both buttons confirm word number one and I can see that word number one is slight and then I'm gonna press both buttons word number two is loud so I'm just gonna go through this you kinda get the idea of what we're doing here and I'll probably fast forward it Now it is processing and the vice is ready to go. Let's go back to the ledger app. Let's click here first. And then you can see it says access dashboard. So let's go back to the ledger app and click continue. Continue. Did you choose a pin code by yourself? Yes. Did you save your recovery phrase? Yes. Um, is your uh, ledger device genuine? Check now. So I'm checking it. Over here. Connect and unlock your ledger device. Click both buttons to set it up. So it's navigating. and allow ledger to na uh, manage hit both buttons there you go click continue on the ledger live app i'm not going to give it i'm going to give it a password uh i'm going to just call it password and this is just a throwaway password so don't use the password password again this is demonstration purposes and you can choose to give uh, analytics if you want. I'm going to check no. And then click continue. And then click open Ledger Live. The device is ready. Click I got it. And let's see. Over here it says open the manager to install apps or add accounts if your ledger already has apps installed. I don't have any apps installed. As you can see, it says install app. So let's open manager and let's just install a couple. Um, Bitcoin, definitely. And you can see it says processing on the device. And it doesn't take too long to install. Click close. Let's do Ethereum just so we have two. But as you can see, um, after Ethereum installs, we'll go through all the different uh, cryptos that can be put on this ledger. So over here, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Litecoin, Stellar, Tron, Dash, IOTA, Tezos, Ethereum Classic, NEO, Ontology, Zcash, VeChain, Bitcoin Gold, Dogecoin, Qtum, Decred, Waves, Lisk, Nano, Digibyte, Komodo, Eternity, Stratus, Factum, Horizon, Arc, Aeon, Zcoin, Wanchain, Pivx, Tomochain, Kin, uh, Particle, Vertcoin, HPB, GoChain, a lot. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to go through them all because there is a lot. 
Okay, that is pretty much it. If I go to accounts here, I can click add account, and then because I installed Bitcoin, click Bitcoin, and over here, you can see connect your ledger device. It is connected, and then I'm going to navigate to the Bitcoin app by pressing the key and then pressing both buttons. There you go. Application is ready. Click continue and then synchronizing. That is pretty much it. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, one reason my Ledger Nano S video, a lot of folks thought it was too long. So I'm just going to leave it at, at that. If I do another tutorial, on more in depth in with uh, ledger nano x um I, I might do that in the future anyway that's it thanks for watching